what's going on YouTube? Another update here for the or the hot tub aquaponic garden, as you can see. Got stuff everywhere. Uh, this week I'm gonna try it a little different. I'm gonna go with some successes and then move into the fails. Like this gigantic kale here, which is gigantic. You can see, big, huge, little tiny bit of pest damage, but I got friends in here helping me out with that. Um, gigantic uh, Swiss shard here. Gigantic. I've had that thing since last year. Made it through the freeze of the winter. <laughs> the great freeze. Uh, when the roof ripped off of the greenhouse here. Little tiny spindly uh, Swiss shard right here. Nice little kale right here. Just starting to come into his own. Right over here. Look at this thing, man. My cantaloupe. Been trying to train it along here. It's been coming right along. It's like, oh, I don't know. Over six feet long now. It's coming all the way over to here, and it's got some flowers and stuff like that, but check it. I <laughs> do believe that would be a cantaloupe right there starting to form, so that's pretty cool. I can uh, build some kind of shelf right here or something like that to support it so that it's not ripped off the vine. Um, but yeah, look how big that thing is. And we've got some like pale looking, crappy looking leaves down here, but all the way up there looks really green and nice. Um, Let's see, I'm going to highlight some good stuff here. Tomatoes, heading towards the sky there. Got some flowers up there. Got some more uh, tomatoes right here forming. And these are my yellow cherries. And uh, probably going to need to start supporting them a little bit better than this little tiny stick. I was thinking of doing like a trellis design around all three beds here. One gigantic kind of trellis type design. So, haven't had much time to do anything really lately, but uh, I'm going to get to that. Um, yeah, it's a little friend right here also. It's like right up to here now. This guy right over here got all kind of uh, flowers and stuff like that forming all over the place. Uh, where did that fruit go? There was one. It's goofy looking fruit. There it is. Kind of looks like a pepper. It's like all puckered up. Um some of those friends I was talking about that are helping me with the pest. If you can see that guy right there. Let's get a better shot of his head over here. Hey, little guy. Got a praying mantis right up here hanging out. I've also got another one over here on the main beam. He's hanging out by my thermometer here and my scissors. <laughs> my scissors. And he's hanging out, enjoying life up there. Help me out with some pests, but anyway, wow, that was a quick turnaround. Um, my, I've got a bunch of, yeah, look at this sad little pepper. Most of my peppers are starting to look pretty sad. Definitely have some uh, nutrient deficiencies and stuff like that. Got stuff on the way to take care of that. Uh, also, you know, kind of looks like I've got an iron deficiency. Probably do because I've been out of iron for a few weeks now. Got some on order. It should be here in like one or two days. So. Uh, hopefully next uh, update I'll have that already in check it out uh, my little freak pepper here my what do you call them JT the Bolivian rainbow super freak hybrid pepper blah 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 more words um, but yeah it's starting to actually take off so happy days the one right next to it is gone um, little carrot right here I transplanted it over here and it's growing sucker not looking so bad starting to move a little bit um, this pepper right back here is the one uh, if you see that left side there I trimmed off a big chunk of it that was losing leaves now it's starting to uh, branch up and everything come back a little bit this little sucker right here is gigantic it comes all the way up and it's all the way up here uh, and this jumbled mess more flowers right here um, all kind of fun stuff here the tomatoes always do pretty dang good Although, uh, this year, I haven't had many actual tomatoes. I've had a whole ton of flowers, but not a ton of uh, actual tomatoes. Indigo rose right here. Look at this, man. whole bunch of indigo rose flowers right there. Uh, we'll see what comes of that. I've been flicking them. <laughs> and right over there, look, even more. So, like, they're trying to produce. It's just, I'm not, I don't know, maybe I'm not pollinating or something. But got another little indigo rose right there. Some romas right over there. You can see, hanging out on the uh, branches there. Um, right here is my Barker's Hot. Another one of my sad-looking peppers. They're all turning yellow and everything. So, i got to figure out what deficiency that is. 
uh, tomatoes are getting this kind of thing where it's like purpling of the veins and uh, like redding of the leaves a little bit and you can see here with the indigo rose they're a purple but they're like getting some weird stuff going on as well but good news is like kale and uh, the Swiss Chard right over here, they all love it. So uh, they're not really looking that bad. Well, maybe it is. Maybe uh, we are a little too veiny here. Uh, but, all right. Anyway, like I said, I got some uh, solutions on the way. Hopefully that'll take care of it. Another little Swiss Chard right here. Not looking so good. Look at that. Uh, one of those big leaves right there starting to curl over and stuff. Um, actually didn't even notice that until right this second. Uh, some more carrots right in here. All looking pretty good. Um, not looking the greatest, but I mean, for crying out loud, they're like on top of each other and they're like right there with tomatoes that have tons of roots. So I'm not really expecting a big harvest here. That was kind of an accident. Just seeds got spilled. Um, what wasn't an accident was these little guys. I'm pretty sure, not a hundred percent sure. Some more right over here, right over there. They're all over the place and they're all throughout every bed pretty much. I've got lettuce going, uh, two different kinds of lettuce. So uh, we'll see how that comes out. Uh, right over there, my green bell. Uh, it's kind of small, kind of looking crappy, but it's actually bushing a little bit. Um, not looking too bad. Uh, just like this guy right over here, not too bad. It's not looking great, so I'm not gonna say that. But uh, it's coming right along. Um, uh, again, my little kale over here, I call them little because it's not as big as that gigantic kale over there. Or like this gigantic kale right here. See that thing? Purple coming on up and it's got a big old canopy there. It's gigantic as well. Those are my two big old kales and then we got the little guys. That's why I call them little guys, obviously. Um, but anyway, yeah, oh, my Mexi Bell. Let's talk about some fails. So all the leaves fell off and I've been, I just trimmed it back a little bit. It had a fruit right up here, so I didn't trim that part. I'm probably gonna trim it like right there above those green leaves. But as you can see, we've got some green leaves popping off on it. So hopefully by trimming it back, we're gonna actually promote it to grow a little bit. It's already late in the season anyway, but uh, hey, <laughs> I've already got peppers that are coming up from seed right now. So who knows what I'm gonna do with that. Probably taking them inside and uh, try to pretend them as good as Kang Star and you know, try to grow them indoors. But anyway, we'll try that. We'll come back to these peppers over here and those peppers over there. They're part of the fail part. Um, another weird part, okay, so I've got all these empty cups, they were all strawberries in here, I had like 200 strawberries just in this bed, obviously because of that bed over there, but uh, some of them are coming back like this, and if you look real close, we've got these little white dots still all over it, and the ants crawling all over like that, which I don't know if the white dots are an aphid type thing, and the... Uh, ants are carrying them around whatever uh, they are the ants are probably helping them to grow so they have quickly become my enemy but uh, the ladybugs really did nothing to stop this so I'm guessing it's not aphids but um, or white fly I don't know what the heck they are maybe they are white fly I don't know maybe the ladybugs didn't want to eat white flies I don't know but there's more on this one right here um, pretty much all the strawberries in this hydro tube have little white dots on it. I don't know if that's picking up right there. Should be. But you can see the ants running around too. And the ants are on everything all over this hydro tube. I was thinking about getting some of those sticky traps and like some zip ties and just popping them right on this <laughs> freaking hydro tube, seeing if I can uh, start taking out some of these ants here. Um, I don't know. I probably just need to Google a little bit. Look over there. You can see all these freaking runners hanging over uh, that far one way over there. Uh, I'll show you when I get over there. It's got two of the nicest runners I've ever seen, all bushy and stuff, but they got white dots all over them. Um, and actually, now that I'm looking at it, right here on this purple basil, which is, okay, it's kind of focusing, there's white dots on the freaking uh, flowers up here, and ants. So, I don't know if it's transferring over, but I've been thinking about cutting back this purple basil. It's gigantic. It's just throwing leaves into the water. And then I gotta fish them out and everything. Which, the water level has been nice and high, by the way. And if, well, you can see, even with this drain running, you can still see the foot well down here, uh, the bottom of the freaking water. So, water clarity, beautiful. Um, my habanero here, looking, <laughs> okay, focused. 
Um, looking half decent. This is one of the peppers that are kind of defying, um, I guess, the rules of, you know, that the, all the rest of the peppers are following. I don't know. Maybe it's so damn hot, it's like, aha, uh -huh, I'm not gonna, you know, succumb to whatever you guys are doing. Whatever. Uh, yeah, it didn't make sense. But anyway... It's not looking bad. Still has nice green leaves, although, you know, you can see some change coming right there. But, uh, like I said, I got stuff on the way. Hopefully, uh, uh, that'll, you know, help it out. Got one habanero right there. Oh, I want to eat that sucker so bad. Got another one right down here. Uh, it's not really coming in, but it's right here. It just is starting to form. And that's on this cool little branch thing right here, which I probably could have cloned. Just like that one right over there. Um, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Uh, let's see. Alright, well, oh, before I go into more fail, check out this. Watermelon decided to do something. Actually grew another leaf, so hopefully it's gonna start taking off. I can let it fall over. Yeah, a bunch of rocks and stuff. Uh, fall over, and it'll follow, I don't know, maybe I'll go this way with it. That's the way. Um, and, you know, to counteract the, uh, cantaloupe that's on the other side there, on that full side. But anyway, all right, let's move into the fail. Or before we do that, check it out. Nice molted uh, skin of another uh, praying mantis. Why? Because they're eating so good in here, they're just multiplying. So, all right, now that I showed you that, let's get rid of this thing here. All right, all right, it's gone. Anyway, here are a bunch of my peppers right here, as you can see, tall, really tall, really good for me. I usually suck at peppers. Uh, this Papuano here, actually looking very nice. I took the fruit off of it last week, and I'm um, waiting for more fruit to start setting here. But it's nice and tall and everything. My red and green bell are back there, greens to the left, reds to the right there. Eh, not really doing much, but they look kind of crappy. Real, like, whitish, almost, like, uh, so yellow that it turns white. Uh, jalapeno right here, same thing. Got a few fruit on it, though. Uh, banana pepper right here, same thing. Uh, all my peppers are like following the same thing, even in the lava rock off the kind of garden over there. Um, anyway, uh, I've got one fruit right here. The um, oh, I can't even remember if this is hot or sweet banana, but whatever, it's a banana. Uh, take a bite of it, I don't know. Um, another little pepper right here, actually starting to bush up and everything, looking really nice. Um, New growth looks nice. Old growth is looking, uh, starting to look really crappy. Look at the stem on that freaking tomato, man. That's one of my... Was that a Marglobe? Yep. Marglobe, I believe. Volunteer from last year. And that's one of the ones that are almost hitting the ceiling up there. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud. I've even got little offshoots, like this little guy right here, this little guy right here. And look how tall these guys are. They're well over my head and I mean by like a foot so those guys are looking pretty good I'm gonna have to uh, start some kind of trellis design for them because they're starting to flower like right here and up here and if they get some fruit on there they're gonna start leaning over and break their stem oh who did I forget in here uh, wait volunteers yes or no seed whatever I think that's lettuce <laughs> this little guy right here I think that's lettuce I'm not exactly sure um, so you move it around right here, another one of my bananas. Look how white the banana pepper looks. It's really weird, part of the deficiencies that I must be going through. Hey, 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 how about my um, uh, Malabar spinach? It goes up, I've been taking some of these um, little seed pods type things. I believe that's where the seeds are. And Shocks was right, you could probably dye your hair with them because they stain real uh, like purplish or reddish. But it hit that string up there, and it's heading over towards the main beam. And I think I'm going to put some kind of string below the main beam and see if I can get it to go all the way to the beginning of the greenhouse there. But that's how far it is right now, so it's well over 10 feet. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's one of my pride and joys right there. Um, and then you come down here, you see all these. There's an indigo rose right here. Um, and there's suckers coming off all over the place. And they're flowering, so I didn't take them off. Like this guy right here, this whole thing is a sucker. And look at all those flowers right there starting to form and everything. All these guys are looking great. Got a few fruit. Got one uh, indigo rose right there. Another indigo rose way up there. That is like three feet above my head. 
<laughs> it's way up there. And as you can see, if you can see, look at all those flowers. Just everywhere. Kind of looks like JT Bear's uh, stuff, only his are down towards the base and mine are like 10 feet in the air. But uh, tons and tons and tons and tons of flowers. Got this one right here coming from the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden. It's trying to join the crew. I'm going to let him in a second. Um, right here. Hey, he's crawling away. There's one of my uh, praying mantis uh, friends there. Um, very neat little guy. I love these guys. Yeah, hey man. Like I say every single day, you're free to eat anything you find. It's yours, man. Go for it. All right, climb into those tomatoes, and maybe it'll take out anything that might be giving me trouble. Speaking of, um, here's my strawberry bed here. I thinned it out, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago or something like that. A lot. I mean, there's my mulch pile right there. I mean, that's a lot of freaking leaves. Um, but I thinned it out really good. I've got a lot of new growth coming in. It's looking very nice. Uh, but still, white dots everywhere. And it's like only on the strawberries. So if anybody knows what my white dot problem is, uh, let me know. Um, I've got my hydro tube. Here we go on the other side here. Um, I've got, here's another great specimen right here. Looking beautiful. It's got some runners coming off of it and everything. More runners coming up and looping over and everything. Another guy right here looking pretty good. But it looks like I, you know, shake salt all over the dang thing. I didn't. Uh, but that's part of my problem right there. Um, I really need to trim these guys up, uh, all these runners and stuff. Look at all this crap. Stuff going everywhere. Uh, I just haven't um, done any work on that new uh, deep water culture bed for the other garden. And that's kind of my hold up because otherwise I would be taking things like this. Look at these runners. Look how beautiful that is. Nice little root system starting right there. Looking nice. That is going to be a beautiful little strawberry transplant, as well as this little guy right here. I mean, look at that. This little guy, not so bad. I mean, there's three right here off of one plant. So I need to get on that. Um, there's tons of things I can show you in this greenhouse that I need to get on. But those are some things I've been uh, saying that I need to do for quite a while now. Here is an example of some of my peppers. Got lots of peppers coming off. Uh, lots for me, that is. Other people, they have tons of peppers and stuff. Remember, I'm in the swamp. I got limited sunlight. i already starting off with a deficit. My brother-in-law, his plants are like four times bigger than mine because he gets way more light than I do. Again, I got trees all over the place and I've been cutting them down for years. And um, like one year I cut down, oh, what was it? Um, it's like... 80 trees or something like that and you couldn't even tell that I cut down one like that's how many trees there are back here and uh, yes they were all on my property but uh, it really hasn't done that much of a dent back here it, it's helped a lot but uh, still nowhere near and this weird greenhouse here because uh, I'm using this like drop cloth type uh, plastic it's kind of luminescent kind of and it kind of seems to glow a little bit, which means I seem to get a little more sunlight. But uh, hey, who knows if that's true or not. Maybe I'm getting less. Maybe that's why uh, I'm having, uh, well, hey, I shouldn't say I'm having problems. Because last year I couldn't get peppers to come above like three, four inches, something like that. And they would just do the exact same thing and die. Uh, well, not exact same thing. It was a completely different thing. But uh, it was losing leaves and stuff. But anyway, rambling, rambling, rambling. This guy right here, not so bad. I got some uh, peppers right there, too. And then I got two more starting right here. Not bad for me. Um, and these are two different plants, by the way. Uh, here's one right here. Hey, look, I'm losing more leaves. <laughs> um, and then this is another plant over here with the three on there. Uh, back here, I got my Mucha Nacho. Really only got one pepper off of it. It's starting to look really crappy. I cannot wait until my new stuff gets here. I want to, like, give these guys a dose. Um, my uh, Barker's, or no, it's my cow horn right here. I don't know if that pepper ripened and went right through ripe, and now it's, like, getting worse, or it's on its way to ripe, but uh, um, I'm going to be picking that pretty soon. Right back here, got another one right there. Another two, actually. And those are both cow horns. Cajun bell, I've got one right down there. Uh, another one forming right here. But that's another one. Look how crappy that is. It's, ugh. 
looking very, very bad. Uh, my Carmen right here, another bad looking uh, specimen right here. Um, let's see, yeah, I already cut one off, waiting for more fruit. Uh, one more starting right there. Hey, there we go. Whoops, nope, won't even focus on my finger. Oh, ah, that's not even a fruit. <laughs> All right, well, that was that guy. Uh, my mammoth jalapeno, not looking so bad, man. I got some beautiful looking fruit off of this thing right there, there. Nice, got some more starting right up here, right over there. Or no, that's one, or I took one. Um, but anyway, it's looking really crappy. My pride and joy, this little jalapeno right here, still looking beautiful, but the leaves are just, ugh, uh, yellowing, veiny, all that stuff. So hopefully what I'm getting in the mail will help me. Um, this little guy right here, I think this is another jalapeno, maybe, or maybe it's a bell. I trimmed it back and got those few uh, really nice looking green leaves right there. My lunchbox orange, still only one pepper on it. It's yellowing. Like I said, these are my fail list over here. Oh no, this is my other jalapeno. So that one I cut back is my green bell. This is my jalapeno, and this is my jalapeno right here. You can see a couple more popping off, but it's looking really crappy too. And right behind it, another green bell. Actually looking very nice for me. Um, tall wise, um, bushiness, stuff like that. But it's starting to look like crap as well. Um, this little watermelon over here, not looking so hot. Uh, looks like it's trying, but it doesn't. Uh, I don't know. More runners, if you can pick up on that. There's a whole bunch of white dots on that left leaf. There you go. See all that? Jeez, man. They're all over the place here. My Loran strawberry right here. And, oh yeah, I guess way over here. Uh, my banana peppers. And some jalapenos right there. Dragon cayenne. You can see that red pepper right there. My shishito. All these peppers. Just look and see what I mean. Like yellowing, all this crap. So hopefully just nutrient deficiency. And I can get on that stuff. I can't remember what pepper this one is. I would have to come around this way. And it says jalapeno. So that would be another jalapeno. Looking tall, scrawny. Better look at the uh, Dragon Cayennes. Not looking so bad right here. Um, and one, oops, no, one jalapeno right there, another jalapeno right there, and another one right over there. So not looking so bad. And some more strawberries right over here. This little uh, sucker. Not really doing so good, but not doing so bad. So, anyway. That was a long, extended uh, walk around the garden here. But as you can see, I got some success. <laughs> enter this kale. And then some failures. Enter all my peppers. But uh, that's what I got going on this week. So hopefully I can get this uh, new stuff. Get it in here. Uh, iron is on its way as well. So hopefully I can up my dosage. I realized I've been underdosing for my amount of water that I've got, which by the way, if you want to know, it is a hot tub. It is like 400, 450 gallons. And I say 450 if it, the water level was about another two inches higher. So I don't know, right now it's probably like four, 420, 430, something like that gallons. Um, maybe, who knows. But anyway, um, and again, yes, uh, I've also got this right here. It's just a uh, another pump. If you look down there, you can see that pump down there, and that's running the hydro tube. So I am running two pumps. This is a little tiny thing, I think like 30 gallons per hour, and I've had, I got it turned down halfway. And the other pump, I'm not even, I'm not sure what kind of uh, pump that is, like 300 gallons an hour or something like that. And it's Ah, uh, doing all five beds here and the filter over there. Anyway, that was a long extended ramble. And uh, that's how crappy my stuff looks this week. So I'm going to get out of here and uh, start talking with these praying mantises and see what they have to tell me. Maybe they got some secrets that I don't know. So anyway, catch you next week. Till then, later. <laughs>